Uh, hello guys, uh, I'm back. Um, today I've got a tutorial on Cinema 4D. Uh, so this is how to make some simple 3D text. Uh, this is the, the, I think it's the fourth tutorial I've done today, uh, and something like the fifth upload. Uh, so I'm pretty much just trying to get out as many videos as I can today because I've been free all day. Um, but anyway. Let's get on with this. Uh, to start off with, I'm just gonna make a floor. You can go up here, and then your floor. And now, um, first of all, I'm just gonna say uh, I'm on Cinema 4D R15 Studio. So if you have other versions, uh, it might not look the same, but you're looking for the same sort of thing. Uh, so just with this, uh, you can double click down here and get uh, this. You can then double click that and edit it. Uh, I'm just gonna make this a white so my floor is white as you can see if I press that well, it's not very white but it will be if I put light there and please go away um, <coughs> so now I'm gonna add a sky oh. something um, no. uh, sunlight Let's see what it looks like. Not what I wanted. I'm pretty sure there is a way. Oh, it's changed a little bit on R15. Um, right, anyway, so let's get a light and drag it up. Oh, I know why it's not fucking white. And drag it up. Look down a little bit. Like so. If we go there like that now, it's white. Right now, what we're going to do is go to MoGraph and Mo Text. This is then going to get us our text, and we're going to uh, move that to where we want it, uh, so where we're facing with the camera. So for me, it's here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is click on the Mo Text here and edit the text, I'm just going to make it say DPC of course and then going to edit the thickness or the depth to 40 uh, move it a little bit again uh, I'm going to scale it and then change the font so for this, I'm just going to use my video. No, I'm not. I'm going to use popular STD. No, that's horrible. I've used that in a different tutorial, I think. Uh, didn't mean to click on that, but that'll do. Okay, so I'm going to drag that where I want it. I'm now going to make another color. And this one's going to be a blue. I want that red all the way down, that about there. Uh, I'm going to add a bit of a reflection of about 26 and drag that onto the text. Now, if we take a look, okay, let's bring that light down a little bit. I want this down this way this way okay and my computer is lagging a little bit for some reason might have something to do with the fact I'm rendering but then this doesn't really t well, I don't know because it shouldn't take that much from that render okay so there's our basic text um Gonna do a bit more to it and go to caps here and make this fillet cap and fillet cap. Now I'm gonna drag it up a little bit out of the floor, scale it, uh, move it to the right. Now I'm gonna go to the light, shadow, soft, and take a look.
Yeah, that's all right. Yes, all right. And then what we can do is press Control. Uh, no, sorry, com uh, Control C, Control V. Get rid of that. Uh, make a new layer. Make it white. Go down to glow. Make sure it's ticked. Uh, make that zero. Make that fifty. Drag down to that one. Make it so it's just caps. Go and drag it out a little bit. Take a preview. And we've got a very simple text, but it still looks really nice. Uh, so the white's got a little glow, and you've got your shadow, you've got your floor, and then the nice blue for the base, like the back of the text. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go into our render settings. Uh, we're going to make this 1920 by 1080. Lock in that ratio. Uh, you can choose your save here. So I'm just going to go to my documents, GFX, uh, Tux, uh, <laughs> uh, Lesson th 3, 4, uh, DPC, I guess. Uh, that's if you don't have a floor. Uh, you can use that and it only render the floor, it won't render the black background. Uh, I'm not sure what straight alpha is. Uh, then here, if you're going to have no background, obviously you want it PNG and that ticked. If not, you want it JPEG. Uh, and then what you want to do is go down here, effects. And one I like to use is ambient occlusion. And then we we'll come off this, and if you take a preview, and you see what the ambient occlusion does, and as you can see, that looks a lot better here. You can't see it the all that well on here, but it does look better. Uh, like uh, if you see my uh, banner, that's using. Uh, ambient occlusion and it looks quite nice All right. so now we're done uh, to render it we're going to basically just click on this render to picture viewer and once this is done so if we double click here we can get this it's full once this is done it will automatically save to where you were set in here and at the pixel ratio that you put in there so that was 1920 by 1080 that I put in uh, see so yeah, that uh, that will come in how uh, handy. Um, obviously, that's something you need to know how to do in order to do other things, which is why I'm covering it here today. Uh, next, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking of uh, showing how to use uh, the Ivy um, plugin, which is the one that gets all the Ivy on my banner and stuff like that. Uh, which will be good, but um, anyway, that's our basic test uh, text just there, like so. Uh, all saved, and we're done. So, see you next time, guys. See you.